what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of space engineers all right guys we are back on the planet of pertam with the oh, industry overhaul mod uh at the end of the last episode we finished up our little ore production here where we just have our ores being deposited in going into the rock crusher going into the ore purifier and then into the refinery and then it's getting transferred out into the base um, right now we were also working on getting the layout of our power facility set up um, we said that we weren't going to do any of the welding by hand. So for this episode, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start to set up our a little vehicle that we can use to weld up majority of the stuff that we have. So I also want to point out that, man, the detail that is in this industry overhaul mod is ridiculous all these spinning parts that the modder added in makes the majority of the machines that we have just come to life um especially look, look at this he has the little grinder under here crushing up the ores and coming through up here you look inside you can see everything that's kind of tumbling out that, is, that that's really really cool but i think i kind of set this up um, in the wrong orientation we should have had this part here pointing in that direction and then this other part should have been over here so but it's fine it's working it, there's not one direction that we need to set this in to make it work properly but what we're going to do today um, on our welding arm someone did mention that we should use set up the welding arm that we have on a vehicle and i think that's a very very good idea where we can just use this to drive around and then have the same um effect instead of just it being stationary so that's what we're going to do for this episode today so let's go back into our character here and uh let's head off of our welding arm and head over to our little uh, building area that we have grabbing the steel plates that we need let's head over here and let's clear off uh let's take off majority of this stuff off of here i'll kind of limit them down so they're not really uh showing everything that they are so just about that that should be fine um so what we want to do let's go back to the regular block here i'm gonna come off maybe like say three blocks this way Yep, three blocks that way and then come out here just a little bit and then drop this down and we're going to start off with this block here being the connection part that's going to be part of our build. So what I want to do is we're going to go to the G menu and we're going to throw in these round slope one blocks that we have here and I'm going to need another one of these just like this. So let's go to, let's get the round slopes and we'll place down, and I kind of want to use a different color for these. So let's go say orange and we're just going to place down a few of these and rotate them around. Oops. Rotate them around, placing them down and get this kind of rounded out just for us. So with this here, and I do want to as we're going along i want to make sure that i get everything welded up so i know where things are going to be and i don't really have to come back and do it later and then having to try and find our way inside of things and that one gets welded no that one does not get welded so that way we kind of know what's what ah that should have been the outside one yeah okay Let's go back here and we're going to have to grind this down real quick. Grind these two down and we got to do this on the inside of here. So rotate this around, put one there. There we go. And then this one is going to be another one of these blocks. Change the color and that goes right there. 
like that and now we can weld these up from here uh, we're gonna need to get up to the top portion and let's get one of these sloped blocks here I think we want to switch over and have this to be a, like a white one and then under the bottom we'll rotate this around with that there as well and let's get this half rotated around and drop this just like that I'm gonna kind of get this across so we can get the other section of this stuff set up and I think right about here should be good yep like that go back to this one rotate that around place this one here and number three and we'll oops that one has to be painted a different color and this way we have our front wheels kind of set up then the wheels are going to go right off the front part here so this welder is also going to serve as a grinder as well where we can just grind stuff down bring it back and then get it all processed jump up there get that welded that one's already done i think what about this side nope there's one up there that needs to be there we go all right so right here at the back we gotta put this slope block back in let's get the paint out paint this a different color rotate it around and rotate that up like so and that should be it for the front portion of the vehicle so from right here we can let's go over to the wheels and we're gonna put on we're gonna use the five by five wheels and I think that should place it where we want a different color let's go for like say red yeah I don't know ah dang it <laughs> it's not the right way all right rotate that around there we go oops and let's grind this off we want the wheel to be down not the suspension up let's try this again right there boom there we go five by five wheels this should be in the middle of this so around there there we go and we'll weld up the wheels later we just want to make sure that we kind of get most of this um situated here let's go back to the blocks and let's place down we're gonna need a full slanted block I'm gonna place it right here so that way I can just run up and jump up on this side oh we still got one block right here that's not loaded there we go all right so because we are using that other side over there to just uh or the blocks we're gonna put this over here and this is gonna be the black so we're gonna have a slope here and then we're gonna go back to our square and then another another slope all right underneath the bottom here we're gonna rotate this around so we don't want this to be too high we want it to be as low to the ground as we possibly can so we got a, a decent balance for the center of gravity so let's go back to the sloped blocks here and we're gonna do this going up so one here another one on this side like this Ooh, I don't think that I'll be able to fit this over here if I'm not able to fit this then I might have to go up maybe another block or so so let's rotate this around place that one there and this comes over yeah I'm not gonna be able to fit anything inside of here which means it's going to have a gap in the front which i kind of don't want it to have so i might have to go up maybe one more block just in case just so that i have the space here so i'm gonna have to get rid of these yep i'm gonna have to go up one more so let's go back to three and to the way we had it first um so rotate this around there we go place that like this and then the other block right here 
with that right there all right now let's go back switch the colors grab this here and go seven rotate this around that's going to be up so let's weld this up so that we can see what we have and that we don't make a mistake somewhere here and then have to come back and do this all over again all right Ooh, we're missing that block right there ah there we go <laughs> all right so one last block up at the top and that's done okay so now that we have that set up we got to do the same thing on this side slope up like this that one is going to go away and then it'll have a slant and that gets this one with another one like that and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do this side all right everyone so now we have the blocks up here that's actually tied in so that kind of we connected this side with the other side and i had to remove a wheel because i had this over in an even number and because i wanted this to be an odd number i had to cut it off by one block so let's go to two and let's put the wheel back on really quick uh we need a five by five and i think this needs to be rotated around like this for it to be placed in the right orientation so now we need to kind of fill this out let's get the these blocks back in here and we're only going to have like four different colors on here try not to make this too rainbow-esque um oops that's the wrong block that's not the block that we're supposed to be using all right switch over grind these down oh not that one weld it back up all right now let's switch to the right block this one here put that down then five we want to have one of these corner pieces this one here um rotate that up there we go and we're gonna place oops place it one here and then place another one over on this side do three put that one back in the middle and we'll go four we'll do this here uh rotate that up that's gonna come one and rotate around that's gonna go another one like that yeah uh let's head up top really quick and place down the other blocks that we're gonna have here so this one for certain i think we want to rotate it up and we want to have it standing up this way so up like this and then five now we're gonna go with not the tip but this piece here and stand this piece up and have it just kind of curve around Whoop. have it just kind of curve around so we don't really have to do all of this um the designing of this yet but i want to just kind of get most of this out of the way so i don't have to come back to it again later on so we're going to do that inside of this we want to grab a remote control because we'll be using a whoop, we'll be using a rotor what we need we need interior plates um, let's grab interior I'm Not gonna need a lot. So just grab ten of it for now, and we just want to place this one down Right inside of here because that's where our um, main block is going to be and then on this other side back here on this side we want to get this to kind of curve back around and close up. So if we go three, we want to put a full block has to go in here. And let's weld most of this stuff up while we're waiting. The good thing is about creating this vehicle as well. We can use this to pretty much weld up any other vehicles that we decide to make in the future just load up the resources that we need inside of it and then just uh get the build get the vehicle hooked up directly to the base and then like get a connector right here and just have the arm that we're gonna put in just come and weld all of this up you know that would be pretty pretty nice so that way we don't have to keep doing all of this stuff 
so this vehicle is gonna have a lot of uses and i think we could make a a detachable arm oh we gotta go grab the stuff for this uh computer oh that's clear let's grab the remote control block and let's grab everything for this what do we need five advanced computers why don't we have advanced computers being made microelectronics factory oh this is full that's why um iron we don't need this many iron in here all right all components successfully withdrawn head up here and finish welding off this remote control i think that right on top of this we're gonna need to put down our advanced rotor that we're going to need but i kind of want to get the chassis part of this set up and ready um so that way we are ready to go we can do one more block i should have moved that remote control another block back so that it has like a two block gap in between it so yeah i should have put it there where that is but that's fine that's fine for now so now that we have most of this stuff kind of laid out let's set up the portion for the where our rotor is going to be and i think a rotor how many blocks is that one so a rotor is three blocks i think it is or two blocks oops let's actually go up there and see when we try to place it down where we can get the advanced rotor to place we'll place that down and i might need to rotor lock this so that way it can't move and does that fit underneath here completely no i might have to weld up that rotor just to kind of see where everything is because i have a feeling i don't want this to be too i want to try to save as much space as i possibly can so let's grab this and let's grab the advanced rotor probably should have thrown stuff inside of it first so we could actually see all right, let's go and... Oh, hungry. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dying. I'm dying. I need food. Food. Uh, uh, no. Cancel. Go over. Food. Food, 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 food. 25. We have water. Yes, we have water. Oh. Now we can look on this and see... All right, yeah. We do need to have another couple blocks underneath the bottom just like that yeah we'll go back to three place that down all right so i'm going to build out the next section of the wheel here we've gotten this built up um kind of gotten this painted a little bit which i kind of like looking it's looking nice and we need to put the wheels on on the back portion here this is the left, which is going to be over here. And I gotta remember to change the color. And left, right here, move out the way. There we go. And then we need the right and over to this side and get this in right there. Is this the right one? I never really looked at this to make sure that this was the right one. Yep, that's right. And is this left? Yep, that's left. Okay, where's that block? There we go. <laughs> All right. So, wait a minute. Oh, no. That block right there isn't welded up all the way. All right, so let's get this welded. Let's get this block welded up there we go that's all done so now we have the base ready um all we have to do now is just kind of get the wheels welded um i will grab four of these and we'll start getting most of this welded up um what i want to do for the top portion of the of the the this vehicle is i want it to be able to carry as much resources as possible but then not be able to tip over or have any like bad things happen to it i'm not going to, i'm thinking we could put like some um a hinge with a 
landing gear on there so we can kind of lock it when we're when we are doing work but we need it to be as mobile as possible i'm just gonna grab wheels and stuff as well too and try to weld up most of this stuff while we're waiting so yeah so i'm thinking we're gonna need a large cargo container and then from the large cargo container we might need to have a o2 h2 generator that can actually give us power we might be able to have enough space where we can put down some um we could put down some maybe like a solar panel or something on the top portion that will be able to give us more power generation if we don't have any ice or anything to use as power so wheel oop, large steel tubes are we out of large steel tubes there we go so wheels are done top portion of this is pretty much done um the bottom is done. well top portion is not done the bottom portion is completely done i'm thinking we could put like some gyroscopes in here on the base and we want them one there and one right there so let's just let's just start off first with just the basics we need a large cargo container large cargo container and we need this to be facing yep facing that way we want to make sure that we place this in the center here and it's completely centered where yeah so we have our hydrogen tank we're going to need the o2h2 generator which i think i could put on no i can't put it on the side because we don't have a connection port on the side we have our cargo container we have our hydrogen tank um we could try and see gasoline but i know that for gasoline we need something else to be able to run this so we refines raw fuel oil i haven't found any fuel oil where do i find fuel fuel oil so i don't think i can make gasoline yet because i can't find any of that stuff so i'm not going to worry about this for now we could have just gone with a solar panel on here and then that probably would have done it but we kind of need this long enough where it's going to hang over the front and give this thing so that it's not too front or back heavy so let's go with we'll, we'll run with the hydrogen tank for now if we don't need it we'll take it off and then go with something else i'm thinking the o2h2 generator we'll put it right here i think this is a good spot for it yeah i think this is a good spot for it so we'll put it here um then for the cockpit you know as usual we're going to use our favorite cockpit which is going to be the industrial cockpit here rotate that around and we got to make sure that we place this in the correct orientation so that it's flat and flush against this um o2h2 generator up here so just like that i don't need it to be connected up to the pipes that's here that should be fine and it's sticking off like that that's perfect that's good that's good so let's make our way to the back portion here um so in the back we're going to need it to have the welding arm on here we can put the welding arm either on the left or on the right i don't think it really matters where we we put it but we will need to have a junction uh placed onto the um large cargo container like this we could put the arm on this side over here and then put like batteries and stuff over on that side but i think if we want to place the arm in the right spot we need to go out by one or by like a half so we're going to need this frame then we would need the junction again 
to place right here. And then the arm will be extended from this portion of the of the ship, right? Yeah, we could have two arms. We could put another arm on here just to do grinding. And that way, the, sh the vehicle would kind of balance out on both left and right sides. Uh, okay. If we're going to do that, then we're definitely going to need a lot of weight at the back here. But I need to put batteries on here as well. Where are my batteries going to go? The batteries can't go on top. So I'm thinking we do batteries over on this side and not worry about the arm. If the arm comes up again, we can place it down on here on this other side and get it to work. But for now, let's go with another... Um, let's go with a small... Yeah, we'll go with one over... Let's go with one over there and the other one over on this side as well. Um reason being these are all piped up through the large ports anyways because it doesn't need anything back here all right boom drop that there and since we have our batteries we don't have the lithium batteries yet um that's something that we need to work on next i think we should probably go with one battery here and then another one right here so we have two on this side the battery should be a little bit heavier um, we can go with some small ones as well just to kind of help out with some of the uh with some of the power so we'll come over here and we can go oh, let's rotate this this way Let's go ahead and let's get this welded up and then we will i don't think we're going to move the cockpit the cockpit is fine where it is i wouldn't mind having it flush you know what we're going to move it we're going to drop it down by one. Oop! don't do that there we go we're going to drop this down by one i don't want it to be too high up rotate this around so now let's go ahead and let's get this welded um let's grab this grab that grab this tank and yeah we're gonna have to figure out a way how we can get up to the top to grab everything else oops synthetic fabric oh we need some syn oh no we need synthetic fabric for the cockpits oh i think i destroyed my synthetic factory that i had all right so we need some motors and some displays to finish off the large cargo container for the vehicle. And we need the 10 synthetic fact. All right, hold on. Let's see. We need production blocks. Where is this synthetic auto loom? Yeah, we need this. Where are we going to place you? Because you are massive. Uh, we might be able to still place it here in this spot and we can connect it up to that right there actually we could just place it here yeah and it'll be connected up to that other side all we got to do is just place down a block right here and all these blocks are going to get replaced so it's fine let's put a few blocks right here like that yeah this is now done so we can create the fabric that we need all right let's just queue up like a hundred of this so that way we'll have it we don't need it to be able to use the cockpit but i kind of want to get everything done and we need some glass so let's queue up some glass as well all right everyone so i kind of just built up a little scaffold that we can use to um get up to the other layer up here so that we will be able to do what we need to do with the uh with the next section of this rover that we're building we need to get up here and actually start placing down the hinges and the piston because it's going to be a combination of hinge piston that we're going to use to be able to get the full distance of everything that we want so let's start off with the hinge 
and for the hinge we want to have I'm gonna rotate it around we're gonna give it a different color so that it kind of stands out just a little bit yeah I'm gonna go with that so that way you can see it at nighttime so we're gonna go with a hinge pointing um, oh. wait a minute where's the where's where's the marker I can't see the marker anymore ah yeah so pointing down there it is right there so we're gonna do that we're gonna do the hinge and then we want to make sure that as soon as we are oh as soon as we are building this we're going through and we're locking it because we don't want it to fall to the ground so this is the hinge we're gonna do hinge lock and then we're gonna go it already fell <laughs> it already fell god dang it did I knock it down ah uh, let's see grind it off I'll get that piece in a minute let's try this again two and that should be pointing down so let's go hinge yep I think I bumped it so it kind of fell out into the wrong thing that we wanted it to be so hinge and we're gonna say hinge lock that and we're gonna change the name to zero one and then we're just gonna escape out of here that should be nope it didn't change okay so zero one enter and then then we'll get out of that oh are we hungry oh no we were just hurt because of that okay next thing that we're gonna need is going to be our piston and I'm going to use the medium piston on here medium piston there we go for some reason it doesn't have any lights on there place that piston here then we're gonna come out and we're gonna do another thing of hinges and I think that's the marker right there I have to be sure yep that's the marker at the top so we're gonna do escape we're gonna do one hinge here and then we're gonna go we're gonna roller lock this just to be certain I'm gonna say hinge lock and we're gonna change this name to zero two enter and we need one more hinge on top of this one as well right rotate it around place it here and I think we can just do it with let's just hinge lock this hinge lock and this one is going to be named zero three ooh trying not to uh, <laughs> paint my whole thing there we go all right so we have a hinge that's going to be able to control pretty much what goes on from the hinge to the piston then we have this hinge here that kind of controls what goes on so we can either go up this one can then go back if we need it or can then point down if we need to get further distance on it and we did lock that then i think we should do another piston at the end of this one more piston here and then from this piston we will have one hinge which we're going to make it point down um placed here we'll do the hinge lock as usual hinge lock and we will name this one for the tip yes for the tip so we'll go uh tip and we're gonna place our welder right there so now we have everything that we need to get this finished up we just need to get the hydrogen tank finished and i hope that everything is kind of centered once this arm kind of goes back everything will kind of be right here it won't be all the way hung hanging out and it'll be good because the arm won't be in the way you know so let's go ahead and get all of this welded up find that weird how we can jump and go higher and fall and not take damage 
but then if we walk off of it, we take damage instantly. That's really, really weird. All right. So now the cockpit is now ready. Wheels are good. Everything looks good. I don't think we're missing anything. I might be missing something, but I don't think so. Um, let's cut this thing off of here. And then I think we will be ready to go. So the moment of truth, I want to get rid of the scaffold that we have over here. Just in case if we run into any issues, we can just drop it and not have to worry about anything. All right, everyone. So <laughs> let's see the moment that we've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and let's. get rid of that and i think we are now good i just have to put one last block right here to get this to look uh this one needs a slope like that i think that's the last block that we need there we go all right so it's not oh it is still sitting on that thing up there isn't it uh, we have the remote control in here, so let's go G. Let's grab the remote control, we'll place that there, and we'll say control. We'll back off of this, we'll say nine. And there we go. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. I want to get all of the, the hinges set up to how we want it to be. So I'm going to go into K menu here, and we're going to type in hinge. Right, this first hinge, we wanna come down here. And I think I wanna increase my torque. Right, let's increase the torque up to say 23 mega newtons. And we're gonna say the braking torque as well. Um, it's better I do this and say 32, 300, I think that's what we need. Yes. If I unlock this, there we go. We wanna say velocity is going to be 0.8. Let's see, where is it going? Okay, this is going up, which is good. Good, let's go back into K and back into our hinge. And we want the lower limit to be z zero. Let's put this lower limit at zero. Good. Right off the bat, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna find hinge one, which is this one here. And we're going to place this right here. And we're gonna say reverse. And um, toggle block on and off. We'll drop it down and then we will lock it so that it doesn't uh, cause any issues. <laughs> so that it doesn't cause any issues. And it should stop because it's at zero. There we go, perfect. Then we're gonna go to the hinge number two. So hinge two, and we're gonna say, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, the torque, I'm not going to worry about the torque. I'm gonna leave the torque this at the default, but this is gonna be at 32, 300. There we go. And the velocity for this is going to be, um, I think I want this to go up, so let's do this. We'll click and we'll say minus 0.86. Is it moving? Oh, it's locked, that's right. It is locked. So hinge two and we will say take the lock off good so i want it to go up which is good and see this is the problem right now there's no, it doesn't look like there's enough weight on the back portion of this vehicle so i'm going to have to put some more weight back here because i do see it kicking kicking up all right so that's where I want it to be. 
Now I need hinge three. I don't have to type it anymore. Hinge three. We're gonna say the braking torque is 32, 300. There we go. And the velocity is gonna be minus um, 1.8 because I do want it to come down right now. So let's do that. Take the hinge lock off. So that's gonna come down, which is great. There we go. Awesome. Nicely set down. Very, very good. All right, guys. So, yeah. The vehicle is done. We are ready to go. This is looking really, really good. Um, I like it so far. You know, I have no complaints with it. It's pretty high up, which makes it relatively nice. If I think I want to probably cover up this... Um, this rotor a little bit just to kind of make sure it's a little bit more secure so i might build up some blocks on the sides here just kind of build it up so it's a little bit better um defended i don't think i need to cover up anything else because that's going to kind of impede on the arm itself but yeah it looks stable i can't wait to get this running so that we can start welding up our other stuff but i think we're going to save this here we're going to gather up some resources into it we need to make a connection spot for it to be able to put all of our stuff in and yeah we should be good but i think with that everyone we're gonna call this an episode here so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode um for the next episode we're going to make up ourselves a little miner that we can use to go out and grab a bunch more ores and then bring those ores back to the base so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new content get posted to the channel and until next time everyone Big up on yourself.